Okay, so today we are going to do a tech video. We're going to replace this overlay on this Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr. and Mario. I'm trying to say that three times fast. This 3 one cabinet. Um, it was dedicated by Namco Anniversary. They also did the Dal uh, Galaga and the Pac Man. This is Jeremy. He is one of my bestie friends. He is going to be here with us today. So it took it took me quite a while to find a new overlay until I actually checked Amco.com. I think that'll be the first place to check, you know. But it cost me sixty bucks, and it's not bad. 3M. Uh, they have this rolled up like a magazine or a poster. poster. Yeah, and so if you get that. It's easiest to flatten it out, so I just had it upside down with some heavy books on it for a week or two, and it's now it's just you know it's flat. Now the thing about this guy, it's a wooden panel. It's not. It doesn't have like a metal plate like uh, you've seen like Mortal Kombat 2 and like practically all of your arcade machines. So um, I bring you in closer to show you. So right there. As you can see that lift up and you can see the dust cover the dust shield and the metal ones don't allow that to happen because it kind of works out down to here covers the dust cover because it's like wood and then the metal but since this doesn't have the metal it's uh this is the issue we uh there was two of them at the arcade auction we bought um we bought this for 16.50 and the other guy bought his for 16.50 and this was actually blown out and this happened because i was stupid and didn't know that there was a second c clip right behind the dust cover right there and i uh hit the end and just went you know blew it out so we have an idea that we're to fix the, when, we, when we put the new one on we're going to cut this out kind of perfect with the edge to edge right here and we're going to put that on and then we're putting the new decal on and it's going to help fill up this gap because you can tell you know you can feel it so that's going to help it out and you know this isn't uh i'm not going to operate this machine at all home use so it should be fine okay so uh in order to take the panel off we had to take the clips off on the inside. Uh, you can show them. Well, yeah. So there's the clips are up in here. We'll show you that when we take the panel off. And then you take these three uh, safety bits out. Jeremy went golfing today. He's all stinky. Stinky, stinky. <laughs> okay, so we got these screws out. And this piece just lifts up. And then you got this uh, lip here that stays. So what you do is you lift up and pull out. And it's kind of tricky. I uh, wiggle it side to side. Yeah, good point. So here's the board, and then we got two connectors, different um, connectors, so you don't have to worry about mixing them up. And I'll show you the uh, piece on the inside. These are these are the locking mechanisms that holds the panel down, right there. In there so what we're going to do is we're going to take this to the garage we're going to strip it down all the way and uh we'll go from there okay so we got the control board out next thing we're going to do is strip it down but before we do that we're actually going to uh make a wiring schematic real fast just to know where the wires went just in case they come off during disassembly or anything like that, you know? I'd rather know about it now than later.
Okay, so jump button on the left hand side is black or uh, is gray with gray with a white stripe. Um, basically, we're just going to take all the loops out. So here's a Phillips. I want to go ahead and start taking the buttons off. Did you hear that Billy Mitchell went to Fun Zone or whatever that arcade is and did the kill, kill screen on Pac Man? Yep, we almost had another perfect game. Yeah. I didn't quite understand how the how the uh, scoring works on Pac-Man because, like, his score wasn't even close to the high score. But, you know, like, I, I don't even know how that works very well. You team Weavy or you team Billy? <laughs> Let's go Billy world. Mitchell. The whole world's gonna know I'm team Weavy. <laughs> like anyone's gonna see this anyway. All right, so now you can see we got the buttons out. Pretty simple. We're gonna leave the wiring on the micro switches, um, just to keep it a little bit easier. But this has to come off. All the hardware does have to come off. Uh, we can leave the T molding on. And these guys just, you know, it's just carriage bolts on the back inside. See how it's around? It's called a carriage bolt, in case you didn't know. And uh, yeah, it's just pretty simple. So we're gonna go we're gonna go ahead and do that. This is 11 and 30 seconds, Chicky. Does that fit the joysticks too? Or not? <clears throat> well, uh, the screws stick up too far. Okay. Otherwise, here's, I think it would. Here's a tin wheel that would fit. Um,
I got some baggies with them. Are you throwing everything in there? Yeah. I think it's pretty self-explanatory where the screws go. Yeah, pretty simple uh, little control panel. Okay, so now that we got everything off, we have to disassemble the joysticks. And to do that, you gotta remove the C-clips. There's one here. And that takes the grommet off and everything. I'll just go ahead and show you how it works. Comes off in the grommet. Then you can get your board off. Then there's a second clip right there, the one that I didn't notice, and I blew out my decal. That guy just comes off, and then you can just pull straight out, just like that. And we're gonna take this to the buffer and buff these out, and clean them up for sure. And there's the, uh, you know. Here's the other joystick. Now remember what I said about the uh, ca the dust caps being in between the uh, piece of wood and the decal. Here's the, an example. See, so when we get the decal off, we can take that out. But, and you can kind of see, see the outer ring is, you know, and kids and people, you know, you rub that and stuff and it wears down and everything. So that's why we came up with the other, with the idea of cutting that, cutting that out, both of these out, and uh, using them for spacers, basically. So we're gonna get to that. We'll be right back. Okay, guys. So <clears throat> we uh, when we tore we tore this piece out. And we noticed that it has a plastic shield spacer thing already. So. On the new one, it doesn't feel like it has anything like this because it feels, you know, you don't feel a lip or nothing. So we'll just see how that goes when we pull it off. Um, so I got this heat gun and I highly suggest you use a heat gun or else you're just gonna tear a chunk off like this little piece right here. I had this off one, one time before and it just, it just chipped. So we're gonna use the heat gun and uh, what's gonna happen is it's gonna loosen up the adhesive. <laughs> you know, 
See how that's working out. Yeah, go ahead and work on it. It's really nice to have a buddy with you. Because then you can control the flow a little bit. Get down in that corner a little bit, Jakey. We got to work this bottom a little bit. Kind of pulling. There we go. Kind of weird. It's like stretching, ain't it? Mm -hmm. That dust cover. Yeah, we gotta remember the uh, plastic ring. And uh, remind me that the dish part that goes down, looks like we're gone already. I can grab scissors and cut that out. Okay. Here, you can work on this. I'll grab some scissors real quick. I've never heat them in my life. Oh, that's fine. Just don't stay too long in one spot. Put it on high. Alright, <laughs> Damn. That shit does just stretch. Yeah. Yeah, this is a thicker decal. Most decals are like super thin. They're just like a sticker. But that's because they're mostly on metal. And I guess they have to thicken this guy up because there's no... That might get, be a good piece if you need to cut some of that out. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a test fit. A dry fit. So we're going to do a dry fit right now. Um, <clears throat> we're going to see... We're going to fill that gap, basically. Because we're trying to figure out if just this piece would be okay, or if we need to have, like, this piece with 
the old decal on. Um, so they both fit in. Oh, I guess I have to get the. That's a good idea, Jeremy. I was just gonna do one at a time. <laughs> Okay, so I can feel the edge with no decal. How does the edge feel? You can still feel it? Yeah. Hmm. <coughs> well, we can definitely make more with the old decal. And, uh... Just to build it up a little bit, you know? Kind of like spacers or something. So we're going to go ahead and make some more spacers and we're going to be right back. Okay guys, so we made a bunch of these spacers and uh, Jeremy had a great idea. We're going to have, this is how we're going to do We're going to put, so we're going to put um, two on the bottom. I guess we got, we got to trim that one up again. And then we're going to do the dust cover. And you can't see any of this shit. So we're going to have two on the bottom, right? And then dust cover. And that's going to lift it up pretty much like flush with the control panel. And then this goes on the decal to keep the adhesive off the dust cover, like so. And we're not going to have this problem ever again. So right now we're going to show you how to uh, buff your knobs. See how it's rusty and stuff a little bit. I got this grinder here. And uh, we're just gonna grind it off real quick. And then I got this buffer wheel. And I'm using green stainless. It's for stainless steel. It's uh you can there's a gauge from coarse to fine, and it's in the middle, so it's like perfect for almost everything. And uh, then we're gonna buff it. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so we got it hooked up. Can you see this? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. See how much better that looks? Okay guys, so now we had to loosen we had to tighten this guy up. So basically if you have one of these things, I mean, you know, it's relatively cheap. <coughs> this is the uh buffing compound or whatever. And you just run it and then you just you know hose it on, you know. Give it a lot. So it needs a little bit more. Okay, now Jeremy's gonna buff it out. if you don't want to dirty yours. And it's going to turn black because of the compound, but I don't know. That looks pretty good, guys. What do you think? Smash that like button. <laughs> <laughs> He's so boss. He's bitching, man. I tell you what. You probably can't even see her heads in this video the whole time. 
Might be a good thing. <laughs> Just see our dad bods. <laughs> hey, we're gonna put a decal on. <laughs> Alrighty. So we got our spacers, dust washer. So we're just going to do a dry test. Let me trim that up again. And looks like the bottom one will work. Where's the other clear one? Good oh, question. Got it right here. All right, guys. Now we're going to do the rest of the hardware. You know, the bolts and the and uh, the carriage bolts, because these guys are pretty rusty too. I mean, it's just you know, buff and polish, same thing. So we'll get back to you when we get all done. Okay, guys, we're back again. Now we just dry fitted the uh, decal on with the washers, the spacers, and um, and it feels good. You know. It feels it feels damn good, a lot better than what it was, you know. And uh, so basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have player one, two buttons in. We're gonna fold it back, take the decal, take the paper liner off, cut it, and we're gonna put the clear washer part on the decal first. And then we're gonna lay it down, work it out, then we'll take the buttons out right, and then we'll finish the job from the back. And I got this high dollar squeezy that doesn't mark you can use it for cars um, it doesn't mark or anything so this is the nervous part Where's the scissors at? Well, let's put these on first. There we go. That looks good. That looks good. Man, this 3M adhesive is really good. We work at 3M. We're probably, I'm probably going to get fired now. <laughs> Look at that guy making YouTube videos with 3M and stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Fire his ass. All right, trimmy time. I think I should trim this back just a little bit more. Okay, do you see, do you kind of understand what we're doing here, guys? We're uh, making it easier to put it on straight. So now we got our covers on. Shit. 
All right, Jeremy, you want to go ahead and throw the buttons in? Yep. Maybe keep it a little loose so we can adjust the decal accordingly if we need to. That works, that works perfect. Okay, go ahead and put that guy back on. Don't forget the rounded tips go down. Yeah, it's facing up though. Huh? The, the round tip's facing up and needs to go down. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, it's facing up though. That one? Yeah. That's facing down. No, it needs to face the other way. Yeah, just like that. Oh. Edit that part out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that one good? Uh, I think so. Yeah. And that line almost came out, didn't it? Yep. Maybe we can heat it up and oh beautiful. Look at that. We're never gonna have to do this again. Hopefully. <laughs> this is definitely easier with two people. Yeah, what do you guys think? Hey, tell me, leave it in your comments. Tell us what your high score is for DK Jr. and Mario Bros. and DK. Because, uh, we suck. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing if we get 15,000 on DK. DK Jr. don't even think about getting past the first level. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> right? Mario Bros. is my game, though. I, I do pretty decent. I can get to level 12 or 13 by myself. So, let's put uh, the jump buttons in just for an extra security and to make sure it will cover. Oh, yeah. And FYI, guys, Nintendo has their own style of button. So, if you're a purist, Something to know, especially if you have a, like an original Donkey Kong. I'm so glad these buttons have the, you know, they can, they offer some forgiveness. Man, it's going to drive me nuts if I don't get per perfectly straight. It's not even perfectly straight. Player two needs to be right there. What do you guys think so far? Not bad, you know? <clears throat> we grinded and painted the screws, now we gotta wait until the paint dries, and punch the out the holes. Yeah. 
Let me tell them, maybe let's heat this part up and kind of work that wrinkle out. Because when they had, when, they, when I got this, it was in like a really tight, like two and a half inch tube, and uh, it, it caused a wrinkle. And uh, so we're just gonna heat, we're gonna use the heat gun and kind of, uh, kind of work it through. Um, and if it doesn't, you know, work that perfect, it's, it'll be okay because, you know, you're not gonna see it. Like the worst part's right here on player one. And there's this shroud piece that covers this much right here. Plus it would help the adhesive get down too. Yeah, just put it on low. And just kind of wand it through. You can do it if you want. Now this isn't a normal decal. It's not paper thin. You know, it's 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 pretty thick. So now I'm just taking that small Phillips and I'm just going to poke where the center is at. Actually, I actually went through and my finger. How do they feel? Still tacky? No, they kind of feel dry. Cool. I'm sure by the time we get ready for them that they'll be good to go. Alright, you guys see that? How I poked all those holes? Just like that. Just take your time. Because no one wants to do this shit twice. Oh, by the way, this decal is like 60 bucks. I don't know if I've mentioned that before or not.
That looks good. Just a comparison of what the decal used to look like. Mario has Italian tan. <laughs> or jumping, I should say. Same guy. You guys know the story. Well, these, these went on like that, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yep. Here, I'll go ahead. Throw some of those guys in there. They're just the black ones, yeah. Is the hole too small? Uh, Try threading it in. Or use the, you can use like the head of this ratchet, just tap it in, you know? I think everything had washers on it too, didn't they? Yeah. I think so. Hope so. But when we tighten it down, it's, it will pull it through and pull it flush. So. Yeah, we definitely need to trim those these sides. Well, oh fuck, we got one side to trim. <laughs> oh, did it fall out? No, it's uh, it's not farther enough ahead. Oh, <laughs> One more washer? Nope. Uh, awesome uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's fitting too good. Maybe these didn't have the washer on it. Well, uh, let's see, there's four. No, I think they did because I got enough for the control panels. Or for the... Yeah, I got enough for the joysticks. So. And it looks like there's an outer ring.
Oh, I probably gave you the wrong nut, Jeremy. There are different nuts, remember? Yeah. Yeah, there are different nuts, bud. Try. Okay, that one fits. Fit better? Mm hmm. Where are those screws go? Uh, for the wiring harness. Oh, yeah, that's right. That looks tits. Okay. I guess we can throw everything back together. Let me get my uh, schematic I made. So the jump button was gray and white, this guy, um, that jump button was gray and black, Yep, okay. So the easiest way to put these micro switches in is you put the bottom in first and then you teeter it in. Just like that. The easiest way to do it. Now all we have to do is just uh, screw the harness back together and then we'll put the bolts in. I don't know. Do you think we should do the top? I don't think we have to do that. Oh, there we go. No, because that black piece will cover it. Yeah. I was just trying to think if that meets up or not. I don't know. Check it out, guys. Damn. Pretty badass. Alright, let's go put it on. Alright, here we are in the game room. Jeremy is making the connections. Yeah, I think you got it the right way. It should only go on one way. No. Bad eyes. There we go. Yep. Yeah, they don't. They don't. No, they don't move down. All right. So, guys, if you remember, you have to slide this out. So he's gonna slide it in. Okay. Now I'm gonna go underneath here and latch it. Make 
sure to clean these guys up too. Here's a washer. I think that one needed a washer. Okay, now that we got it done, we're gonna we're gonna turn it on and uh, put it in test mode and test all the buttons. Here we go. What do you guys think? Pretty cool, huh? All right. Well, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to. We'll see you in the next video.